What's up, LC? Welcome back to your fourth installment of LC TV. I'm Sarah Swatash. And I'm Kimmy Golick. On this week's episode, we will be discussing college applications, meeting a foreign exchange student from Denmark, and highlighting a local taco place. Our first story covers the first presidential proclamation of Indigenous Peoples Day. Last Friday, President Biden became the first president to sign a proclamation recognizing October 11th as Indigenous Peoples Day. The holiday showcases Native American history and celebrates their culture. It helps to honor Indigenous peoples' accomplishments and influence in the country. In his presidential proclamation, Biden states, Today, we recognize Indigenous peoples' resilience and strength, as well as the immeasurable positive impact that they have made on every aspect of American society. For our next story, we're going to be talking about the Southwest Airlines flight cancellations. This past weekend, Southwest Airlines canceled over 2,000 flights. Southwest claimed that these cancellations were due to weather and air traffic issues. However, many people believe that the cause of this was the recent vaccine mandate that Southwest placed. There is no evidence that this is the reason for the cancellations, but Southwest is still enforcing the mandate. No explanation really that was, I feel, very legitimate or believable. And uh, the weather and the traffic controllers, I don't think were the real issue. And so we're frustrated. I'm missing a day of work. I own my own business and I'm canceling appointments. It's that time of year again when seniors should start filling out their college applications. No, I haven't started my college applications. Um, I didn't even start yet. I didn't even start applications. Yeah, no, I didn't start yet. Not at all. No, I haven't. Navios is a website that a lot of seniors are using to look at what colleges they want to go to or what colleges they would love to go to. This also has an ability to check your GPA and your SAT scores after them being submitted. Naviance also shows careers and clusters to show which colleges would best apply for the careers that you seem best fitted for. A lot of teachers have put up what colleges they would do to give students an insight on what are the best majors to take, the social life, and how the dorms are. Seniors, it would be best if you to just get the college applications in on time just so you won't have to worry about it later. Guidance is also helpful for people who don't know if they want to go to college or if they want to go to trade school. I am not excited to deal with that next year, but I am excited to learn more about Lake Central's very own Win Ensemble. Me too. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Elliot Smith. I'm the director of bands here at Lake Central High School. I'm uh, going to tell you a little bit about our Wind Ensemble, which is the top performing group here in the high school. There are four concert bands. Uh, Wind Ensemble plays the most advanced literature. Most of the literature uh, that the students are performing is what would be considered collegiate level. Uh, the group is primarily made up of juniors and seniors, uh, but we do have a couple freshmen in the group as well. Hi, I'm Whitney. I'm a sophomore and I'm in a Wind Ensemble. I've been playing French horn since sixth grade. And Wind Ensemble is a really fun environment and class to be in because you're around lots of, lots of fun people and you're learning new things while doing it. The pieces in the Wind Ensemble aren't too hard. The rhythms and the notes are kind of tricky, but once you practice them a lot, it's a bunch easier. In Wind Ensemble, I met a lot of new people and it's a really fun class. I'm really looking forward to the winter concert. It's so cool to see the talent that our school has. Do you want to pass it over to Sports Update? Yeah, here's Katie and Kelsey. What's up, LC? Welcome back to this week's Sports Update. I'm Katie O'Drobanek. Hey, 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 go Thompson. And I'm Kelsey Moore. Let's get into it. <laughs> 
Our boys soccer team made it all the way to the sectional championship last Saturday, but unfortunately lost to Munster 1-0. The boys finished their season 12-4-2 and 6-1 and in the DAC. Great season, boys. Our girls soccer team sadly lost their sectional game to Crown Point with a score of 0-3. They finished their season 12-5-1. Great job, girls. Both our JV and varsity cheerleading teams had the highest scores of their competition this past weekend. The girls traveled to Northwood this weekend to compete in their competition. Good luck, girls. Our girls volleyball lost to Laporte 3 2, but started their sectional play this past week. Good luck in the rest of your sectionals. The girls cross country team won their sectional this past weekend, and our very own Sydney Trilla was the overall champion of the meet. The girls scored a perfect 15 overall and are running their way to regionals next week. Good luck, girls. Our boys cross country team also won at sectionals. Vince Vanderveen was the overall runner of the meet. Great job boys and good luck at regionals. Even though the boys tennis team season sadly came to an end, David Springs is still the single sectional champion, winning his match 6-0. Good luck David at Laporte for your regional meet. Our very own Olivia Safnack and Isabella Urbanski made the all DAC team for a girls golf. Congratulations girls. Our football team unfortunately lost to Maryville this last week but have their last regular season game at Valpo this Friday. The boys had their sectional draft this past Sunday and pulled Lafayette Jeff for the first round of sectionals at home. Good luck boys. Hi, it, it, it's Coach Hobson, and do a sports update. Yeah, that's right, Cole. Yep. That's it for this week's sports update, LC. I'm Katie O'Drobinak. Hey, 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 Coach Hobson. And I'm Kelsey Moore. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Next, let's talk to Oliver, a foreign exchange student from Denmark. Hi, yeah, Oliver Pedersen. I speak Danish, Swedish, a bit German, and then English. I'm from Denmark uh, in a small town that's like 10 kilometers from Odense. I moved here the 15th August, so it's like a bit more than a month ago. Uh, I moved here because my dad was an exchange student and he has told me a lot about it. I work with the program ASSE. I've been staying with Mason Duda's family and he's also a sophomore. Uh, my old school was called Carnelson School. Uh, yeah, it was pretty small compared to Lake Central. I get more homework here than I did in Denmark, but I feel like it's okay, it's good. I think I like the school better because there is a lot more people, so you make a lot more friends and stuff like that. So I met Jolie Adams that I went to homecoming with. I play soccer. I've only anticipated in the last half of the season because I didn't like arrive at the school start. So I haven't like played as many games, but it's been nice the time I've been here. Overall, I'm thankful to get the experience to stay at LC. Welcome to LC, Oliver. We're really happy to have you. Hey, Cammie, do you like Legos? I used to love Legos when I was younger, but I know someone who builds them as a hobby. Let's go meet her. Hi, my name is Joel Reich, and I'm a freshman. I have a variety of Lego sets around my house. Um, I have a whole entire town that I built. I started making them in June because it was just a summer hobby thing I decided to do. Because I was building so many, I had like four to build in the beginning of the summer. So I thought, hey, why don't I just do it for other people? It takes me a good um, week to build Lego sets. It depends on how hard they are um, and how many pieces there are. But to make the videos, it takes me about, like I'd, I'd say 30 minutes to an hour. My favorite TV show was Friends. And I just decided one day to take the friend sets that I already built and turn them into an animation. With my Legos, I do like Lego TikToks and I do them with the friend sets. Basically, I make them all move and I, use, I switch out the faces and heads. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do it. Will you marry me? So, the best animation I think I've done is the one where Ross and Rachel break up. You know, I can't believe I even thought of getting back together with you. We are so over. <laughs> Fine by me! Oh, well, and hey, hey, hey! Those little spelling tips will come in handy when you're at home on Saturday nights playing Scrabble with Monica. Hey! Sorry! It, I think it got like 42,000 views. And then my favorite Lego set that I've built is the Daily Bugle from Spider-Man because it had so many different characters and so many different details in the building. I have a variety of Lego sets around my house. Um, 
I have uh, the whole entire town that I built. That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me, I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Wow, I wish I had the patience to do that. That's a really cool hobby. Yeah, my hobby is learning more about zodiac signs. Speaking of zodiac signs, do you know we have an astrology club? No way, let's check it out. Hey LC, let's talk to some members and learn more about the Astronomy Club. The essence of Astronomy Club is that it's a nice, fun, and comfortable space for people to kind of learn about space, astronomy, and anything related to that, like once every other week. Some of my goals for Astronomy Club this year is to go on some field trips and go to an observatory, have a watch party. That's a really important thing that I want to do that we weren't able to do last year due to COVID. So my goals for Astronomy Club this year is actually to just make it fun, be more involving, um, have more people come in, and make sure that later on in the year we have some people who are actually interested in being and taking our offices at some point as well just to make sure that we can continue the club as the years go on, even if we're in college as well. If you guys want any more information, you can find us at Mr. Holdeman's room in C236. See you there. That club seems out of this world, but you know what else is out of this world? <laughs> Tacos. What's up, LC? I'm Greta Seeger. And I'm Lily Rogers. And this week's Reach a Gem is Ricochet Tacos. Let's check it out. Ricochet Tacos is located in the Crown Point Square at 115 West Joliet Street. It is a unique taco restaurant that is open weekdays 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and weekends 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. They have outdoor and indoor seating. They also offer a wide variety of tacos like the California Love and desserts like churro sticks. Tacos can be made vegetarian or vegan. There's something for everyone to enjoy. Hi, I'm a senior at Lake Central and I work at Ricochet. I applied here at Ricochet a year ago, actually. We've been open for a year. I've been here the whole time that the Crown Point location has been open. My favorite taco is the Tater's Gonna Tate, um, and I definitely recommend the True Romance. If you like Hot Cheetos, that's a really popular one here, and I also recommend the Handlebar. That's a steak one, and it's also really popular. Hi, my name is Abby Barrett. I'm a senior at Lake Central. Um, Tess referred me in May of this year, and I've been working here ever since. My favorite taco to get here is the No Country for Old Men on flour, not on corn. And something that I'd recommend from here is definitely the churros. We have Oreo churros, Dulce de Leche churros, and Fruity Pebble churros. We're so lucky to have amazing restaurants in our region. Anyways, wouldn't it be weird for your math teacher to teach science or your history teacher to teach Spanish? Mr. Zelanik and Ms. Zenz put this to the test. Take it away, you two. Today, you will both be teaching the opposite subject. Come on. It's fine. <laughs> no, come on. Go ahead, just say it. What? Go ahead, how am I gonna do teaching history? <laughs> well, she'll do well teaching history. I'm gonna struggle though for psychology because I haven't done it in a couple years now. I think he will do well. He relates well with students. Um, I mean, he might not get through all the content because he likes to talk a lot. This is awful. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, class. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about the rise of World War II. Um, yeah. What do we already know about World War II? Anyone? Anything we already know? Does anyone know who these people are? Hitler. Hitler, which one? You tell me. Yes, yes, this would be Hitler. Who, where is he from? Oh, wait, let me get that phone call. Hold on. Hello, Brian Zelonik's room. Pearl Harbor was, where was that? Where did that happen, the bombing? Hawaii, good. Anyone ever been there? You go, that's, maybe I can get my husband to take me to Hawaii. You know what I mean? We'll say, dude, I gotta see Pearl Harbor. You know what I'm saying? It I'm a teacher, buddy. I gotta see where this happened. We're gonna start talking about World War II. Woo! -hoo! Thanks, class. This is AP Psych. Oh God. Right? What is it? Unique New York. Unique New York. Oh, I screwed it up. 
Unique New York. You get all these things that hit you, right? Hit you. Structures of the eye, of course. You know, we're starting to get into more of the biology aspects of psychology here too. So yeah, this is, uh, you know, we could always, you know, look at the eye. Here, I like to throw this eye once in a while. Viv, let's see your reflexes. I'm gonna throw this right at Viv's head. And if she doesn't catch it, that means there's something wrong with her eyesight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she got something wrong with her eyesight. Oh, go back to that other thing. The faces. Oh deer, I can go hunt. No, those are baby deer, we don't hunt those. Right? That's right. That's right. And then look, you can, if you concentrate enough on this area, you can make out a SpongeBob. Who sees SpongeBob? Yeah, me too. SpongeBob's kind of cool. He had good hearing too, for the most part. Ooh, go back to the brain with the pony. That's interesting. Appreciate the lesson today. Thank you. Any questions before I go? Yeah. See, and I, from that lesson, you're going to get an A plus, kid. Good job. Good job. Maybe it's just me, but I think they found their new calling. Well, on that note, that's it for today, LC. I'm Sarah Swatash. And I'm Cami Golick. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Lake Central Television, which is where you can find the links to our website, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. You can also find them in the description below. Thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time. Bye. Bye.